This is a pre-built version of the application. So if we go ahead and uh, run it. So we uh, went from uh, generation uh, 0 to uh, generation uh, 6. And if we uh, run it uh, again, we get a completely different uh, outcome and uh, each one of those is a chromosome and a chromosome is a potential uh, solution and here we have a population of uh, eight uh, chromosomes and in each uh, generation we are uh, sorting the chromosomes by uh, fitness so for this uh, population, this chromosome or this one has the highest uh, fitness. And what uh, fitness means here is how many genes are the same as in the target uh, chromosome. So here uh, this uh, gene is uh, different uh, from here and uh, this one and this one so we have uh, 10 genes seven of uh, which are the same as in the target uh, chromosome and we uh, evolve from uh, one generation to the next by uh, doing uh, selection crossover mutation and uh, elitism and uh, I will be going over uh, those while uh, writing the code. So this uh, genetic uh, algorithm ends when uh, one of those uh, chromosomes reaches a fitness of uh, 10. So all of those uh, genes are the same as in the target uh, chromosome. I will uh, start by uh, creating a new uh, Scala project and uh, the code here will be in uh, this uh, package so we will have a uh, chromosome uh, class which uh, represents a candidate uh, solution and uh, this uh, class actually has a Scala class so this uh, class which uh, represents a population of uh, candidate uh, solutions and a uh, genetic uh, algorithm uh, class actually object where the selection crossover mutation and uh, elitism logic uh, will be and uh, this uh, driver object which will uh, contain the main method which uh, will be driving uh, the application and a uh, chromosome will have an uh, array buffer of uh, genes so uh, a varied size uh, array like a uh, java array list so uh, val means uh, it does not uh, change and uh, every uh, class in uh, Scala has a primary constructor that is uh, part of the class uh, definition 
and the parameters of the primary constructor become class uh, fields. So here the primary constructor takes uh, no argument. And uh, all the statements in uh, the class uh, body are executed by the primary constructor. And uh, we also have uh, auxiliary constructors that are uh, optional. And uh, here we have to call the primary constructor from uh, this auxiliary constructor. So here we are uh, randomly populating uh, the genes array buffer with uh, zeros or uh, ones. And uh, let's go here and uh, define this uh, as a target the chromosome and uh, this uh, method will uh, calculate uh, the fitness of this uh, chromosome by uh, comparing it against the target uh, chromosome and uh, finally, we will have this uh, two-string method that will uh, return the genes, array buffer, contents, and the fitness of this uh, chromosome. And uh, the population will have an uh, array buffer of uh, chromosomes. And the uh, var here means that uh, the contents of this uh, array buffer can uh, change. And the uh, same as for uh, chromosome, the primary uh, constructor takes uh, no arguments. And this is an auxiliary constructor and we have to call the primary constructor from here. And here we are uh, populating the chromosomes array uh, buffer with uh, new chromosomes that are uh, randomly initialized. And uh, this uh, method sorts the uh, chromosomes by uh, fitness and uh, finally for uh, this class we have this uh, to string method and uh, this uh, means that the sort by uh, fitness uh, method returns a, uh, an instance of uh, population now in uh, Scala, we don't have uh, static methods or uh, fields. So we use uh, object instead. It's like a singleton in uh, Java. A single instance of a class. Now uh, before writing the code for the genetic uh, algorithm, here we will uh, instantiate a new population given the population uh, size and the target uh, chromosome size and we uh, sort uh, that population by uh, fitness so this is for uh, generation uh, 0 and here we are uh, calculating uh, the fitness for the fittest uh, chromosome in the population and uh, let's go ahead and test run uh, the application before uh, writing uh, the rest of the code and uh, let's try again and we get a completely different 
the outcome. Now uh, here we need an uh, evolve uh, method that uh, will uh, end up uh, calling the two methods mutate uh, population and uh, crossover population. So uh, let's have uh, those two methods return the path in population for uh, now so uh, crossover population ends up uh, calling mutate uh, population which uh, returns a sorted uh, mutated uh, populations and uh, crossover population takes that uh, population and does uh, crossover on it and then uh, sorts it and this is what is returned by the evolve uh, method and uh, this code here ends up uh, counting the evolve uh, method So we will uh, keep evolving uh, the population until we get a uh, chromosome that uh, matches the target uh, chromosome. So now if we uh, run this, it will uh, go forever. And uh, let's define uh, this to be the number of uh, elite uh, chromosomes. So they would be passed as is to the new generation. So the mutate uh, population that this uh, method will uh, return will uh, contain the elite uh, chromosomes. And same for the crossover population uh, method. And the uh, crossover population will uh, end up uh, calling this uh, crossover chromosome method which uh, ends up uh, doing a random gene selection from each one of the parent uh, chromosomes. And the uh, mutate uh, population will end up uh, calling this uh, mutate uh, chromosome method for each uh, chromosome in the population. And uh, let's uh, define the tournament uh, selection uh, size since we will be doing uh, tournament uh, selection and in uh, tournament uh, selection a uh, number of uh, chromosomes are uh, selected randomly and uh, from those the one with the highest uh, fitness is uh, chosen and uh, let's define this uh, mutation rate and uh, this is the probability that a chromosome gene will do random mutation and uh, the range is between 0 and uh, 1 and it is usually uh, small so for the purpose of uh, this tutorial I used this number should be smaller And uh, this code does uh, mutation for the chromosome. And uh, 
uh, we only do mutation if mass dot uh, random is uh, smaller than the mutation rate otherwise the uh, gene stays uh, the same and uh, this code does the chromosome uh, crossover so the crossover uh, chromosome that is uh, returned will uh, contain genes from uh, either one of the past n chromosomes and uh, this code does the mutation of each one of the non-elite uh, chromosomes that are in the past n population and uh, this code does uh, tournament uh, selection two times and uh, picks the fittest uh, chromosome each time and uh, does uh, crossover on those two chromosomes and adds the resulting uh, chromosome to the chromosomes in the crossover population And uh, this should uh, do it for uh, this class. And uh, finally, let's go ahead and test run the application. So we went from uh, generation uh, zero where this was the fittest uh, chromosome and we went to generation 5 where we found this uh, chromosome with all the genes the same as in the target uh, chromosome and uh, let's do one more thing let's go ahead and uh, extend the app uh, trait and when we do that we no longer need the main method so uh, this uh, code will uh, execute in the body of the constructor so let's go ahead and uh, test run it here we go, we went from uh, generation uh, 0 to uh, generation uh, 4.